Spoiler alert, I do eventually get this video done correctly and make a cabinet door. But, as you'll see here in the beginning of this, it took a lot of time in order for me to get to that point. The mistake I'm making here, and you'll see in four different windows here in just a second, is I was trying to run my test pieces and make them fit the door and then try to make my actual pieces work for this. The trick is, and you'll see in a minute, after we get through this crazy intro of me making all kinds of mistakes, or not necessarily mistakes, me just not doing it correctly, that once you get your first cut make, you gotta make it the same cut on all of your boards. But we'll get to that in a minute. Studio Epic. Before we get back to the correct way to do it, here's me just a quick shot of me cutting my scrap boards into the what's going to be the sides and rails of my door. I cut enough boards so I'd have some extras in order to use as test pieces to make sure I get a good fit. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I used up all those test pieces uh, already, so I'm going to have to make some more before the video's over with, but you won't see me make any more. But these are the boards I will be using for the sides and rails. So as you saw, I struggled at the beginning of this trying to get this to work. So what I did is I set my saw up with a, I don't know, whatever this thing's called, I can't remember off the top of my head. Keep it pushing against the fence. I cut me some more test pieces because I ruined all my other ones, they're over there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these again. And I think I figured out what I was doing wrong. I was trying to get a good fit on one of my test pieces first, but what I need to do is run all these through here first. Make sure we're in the center. If we're in the center, then I need to run all my actual pieces through there. I don't know if that's the correct way, but I think that's the way I'm gonna have the most success. So let's go ahead and get these cut. Here I'm simply running my test pieces through to get the center groove. Once I get the center groove, I will then go ahead and run my actual pieces through. This is my actual pieces here that I'm running through. Remember to flip the board after you run it so you can make sure that the, that the cut you make is centered. I went ahead and checked to make sure that it wasn't going to fit and it didn't. So now I'm running my test pieces back through there to try to get a fit for the plywood to fit in. Not yet. Here I make several very, very small adjustments over and over again until I get a really good fit that I like. And once I do, I will run my other test piece through there and then we'll go ahead and run each of my actual pieces through. In my case, I cut extra test pieces because the first time I did this, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I didn't have much luck. Here doing this, I had a little bit more luck and I was much more confident now that I had a game plan for what I was going to do. It's a good fit, so let's run my last test piece through and now we'll go over to my actual pieces for the cabinet doors. After some careful measurements, I think I have my blade set where it needs to be in order to cut the uh, shoulders to go on so the, so the frame will fit together. Now again, here I'm going to go ahead and cut the shoulders, and I'm not sure if it's called shoulders, that's what I'm calling it, I don't know what it's really called. And I'm going to make slight adjustments after I cut them until I get a good fit. So 
So I adjust the blade a little bit and do it again. That's a pretty good fit right there. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to put the top and bottom rails on to get a measurement for how long I need to, this to be. Since this isn't an exact measurement for a cabinet, I'm making my sides to fit. The next thing to do is to cut the shoulders for my boards going, the rails I guess is what it's called, going across the top. So what I did is I took my measurement and it's 12 inches, I measured my sample piece for my shoulder and it's 3 eighths. So I know I need to make those 12 to 3 quarter inches long. Which will be out of this board. So I'm going to cut these 12 and 3 quarter and that should be the length I need. Here I'm now cutting the shoulders on the boards that are going to be incorrect. Again, I stress that these are not the ones that are going to be correct. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the shoulders on them because at the time, I didn't know they were incorrect. Next thing to do would be a dry fitting. So let's see what we got. And as some of y'all may have guessed, that's going to be too tall. I did it wrong. So I'm back to the table saw. I cut these boards 12 inches. I'm back at the table saw cutting some more shoulders for my rails that are going to go on the top and bottom. What I discovered is the width of the plywood or the width of your door opening for your cabinet is how wide these rails need to be. They will slide right in along with the plywood into the grooves along the sides. So we're going to try our drop fit again. And it looks like it's going to be a winner, I think. So let's go ahead and glue this up then. I started out planning on putting glue in both sides of this, but after I did this bottom and I realized how much squeeze out there was going to be on the sides doing that. So on these two top ones, I just put it on the top of it, the shoulder and each side, and it would squeeze into the gap. And I felt that it was plenty of glue. Again, I did not glue the panel in place. I guess you could if you wanted to, but for this project, I did not. Now I'm putting them in the clamps and adding a little bit of pressure, and then I'll let it sit for a few hours. Here we are. Now we're going to take it out and see what it looks like, and probably go ahead and give it a light sanding. If this happens to be the first video of mine you found, and you've stuck around this long, then maybe you enjoyed it. So if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I said, the next video I have will be on March 3rd. It'll be a recap of this project and the poster box. So thanks again for watching. And as always, y'all will see me next time.